yeah hello <coughs> i hope you are doing fine so let me give you a, a demo of the final application uh, so that you can know what have been done in the application so <coughs> this is inventory management system in the excel and uh, when you double click on this uh, this screen will appear okay from this screen you can make a sales entry purchase entry you can add product you can add customer you can add supplier and these are reports so let me uh, i would click on this show excel button and this dashboard will appear okay now from this dashboard we can add product we can sale entry we can purchase entry and we can see these reports as well <clears throat> so let's move to add product <clears throat> i just clicked on the add product and i'm going to add a new product so these are already added products you you can search uh, one of these products as well just like this 1113 so I, I i'm going to search the existing product 1113 search this is already existing product so i will search again and see this all all the data is already appeared i just cleared the form now i want to add a new product i will have to give the new code for it for example i if i give the old code it will give me a message that this old code already uh, available so i am giving the code 1001 category you can give any category like category is furniture in your case maybe product name it is dining table unit pieces and purchase rate you can input your purchase rate uh, i'm giving for example 100 supplier code you can give any supplier code dxt sales price should be 125 and minimum quantity alert this is what you required it should be like i want that if the uh, quantity is less than this uh, quantity alert then it will give me a message so it's 20 for now i just added it has been successfully added and i will close the screen i will go to home button again and i will check the stock report <laughs> this is stock report you can see and this is 1001 furniture and dining table unit is pieces and it is available okay <clears throat> So, uh, but you see, it is giving me, uh, it is uh, highlighted in red because uh, it is giving me this, st that stock is less than 20. For, for all the items, this is minimum stock alert 500 and current balance is 400. That's why it is red. But this is minimum stock is 100 and balance is 500. So this is fi fine. I will go back to main. Okay, I want to, I want to purchase the, uh, because I'm going to purchase this. So this, this this screen will appear for purchase. What product I'm going to purchase, this is dining table. So I will double click on it and you see dining table data is populated from which supplier I want to get. I will just double click on this and this data is populated. Now what I have to do, I have to give the date, which is 30th September, October 2020. By the way, I, I will make it auto populated. So this will be changed and invoice number one 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 and the quantity how much quantity i want to purchase 100 pieces i will press add this is added and i will save press save save and new so this 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 has been saved i will close the screen and now i will go to stock balance again you can see now this current stock is 100 this uh, sales uh, sorry balance this balance is 100 uh, because I have not done any sales yet and I have just uh, defined this item and I have purchased this item 100 pieces this is available now let's make a sales and check now I am going to make a sale so I will click on sale and which item I am going to sale is this dining table just double click on dining table which is the customer these all are available customers maybe this customer okay now what i have to do i have to give the date 01 11 2020 and vehicle number abc quantity how much quantity i'm going to sell i am going to sell 10 pieces okay press add this has been added and i want to uh, 
add i want to say sale multiple items in the same uh, as well like i uh, i can i can save an other product which is maybe this one and i am going to sell it in 20 20 quantity and add two items have been added with the same invoice so uh, you can sell multiple items like this and i will press save and new it has been saved and close okay now i will check my stock balance for this you see uh, i added this item dining table i purchased 100 pieces i sold 10 pieces 90 are remaining and stock stock minimum stock alert is 20 now i will make a big sale so that i can check it it is giving me stock and other sales for the item dining table date is 01 november 2020 customer this vehicle number this quantity now i want to sell 85 pieces of this okay i sold 85 pieces of this and saved press saved button i will uh, close this screen okay i will when i close from this it will give me an error because we need to use this button to close just keep in mind okay now let's check stock balance okay this is furniture now you see that we purchased 100 items 95 have been sold 5 are remaining and it is red which means that now we have to buy this stock so this was your uh, main requirement which has been fulfilled and uh, you uh, you asked me a question regarding either we can uh, add barcodes in this or not so currently barcode is not supported for this uh, i will have to make it supported it is not like um, it is not part of the initial scope and uh, this inventory management system can support around 500 products so i hope you like it thank you very much goodbye